Hello friends, welcome to the new video Tech Miracles. Today's video is about Threeter application, a simple web application developed in Threeter programming. Here we develop station form in Threeter application and there are user login and the admin login. There are three master pages for that we first open Visual Studio 2019. Create a new project. ASP.NET web application and then select next. Project name. Simple Twitter application. We can also change the location. Then click create button. Select web form, then click create button. Okay, we get a new project, then expand solution explorer. Here we need three master pages, one general master, user master and the admin master. Right click on the solution explorer, then select add. Select new item. Web forms master page. And name general master. Like this we add two other master pages. User master and the admin master. Okay. Then we have to create a login page. Expand Solution Explorer and right click on the project name. Add new item. Then select web form with master page. Name the web form. I select login as web form name. Then click add button. Select a master page. Also, a login form, and this is not under the admin master or not under the user master. This is under the general master. So, select general master, then click OK button. We get login.aspx perform. Here is a content place folder. Here only we can add contents like table, button, text process, etc. Here we add a table with uh, four rows and three columns. In first column, add labels plus username and the password. And in second column, two text boxes and a button, sign in button and a label, some error messages or something printed in the login form. And third column, we add validators and the sign up button. Sign up button is for registration. In our early videos, we already discussed how to create web forms. That's why I, I just keep the detailed version. In second, we add a user hook. I click on the solution explorer, uh, then select add, then select new item. Perform with the master page and rename it as user home. And select add button. Select user master as the master page select OK button. In this kernel based scholar we add a table with 11 rows and the three columns. First column contains the labels and the second column contains user home, the label and the logout button and the third column some text boxes and the edit button. In this form, user can view all the details that he entered in the 
registration form at the time of registration and anything they want to edit then update the details in this form name address age phone number email gender username password and the status then next we add another web form select add select new item perform with the master page rename the performance registration registration dot ispx then select add button select general master is the master page and select click ok in content placeholder we add a table with 10 rows and 3 columns first column contains the labels and the back button second column contains text boxes radio button list and the submit button and a label without text and the third button contains validators and the clear button this registration form is for registering the user details name address age phone number email gender username password and the confirm password and the third column contains the validators required field validator compare validator and the range validator and the regular expression validator required field validator is we used in all the field and range validator we used in age field only and the regular expression validation is for phone number and the email and compare validator is for password only then we need another web form that is admin home I click on the solution explorer select add and select new item select web form with master page I rename the web form as admin home Click add button, select admin master as the master page, click OK. Content placeholder, we added a table with three columns and four, four rows. In first column, we add the label admin home. In, in second row, we add a grid view. And the third row, second column, we add a logout button. In grid view, we display details of the user and the user, admin can block and confirm the status of the user. If the user is blocked by the admin, user can't log in to the site. At the time of logging, if the user is blocked, play a message in the, in the label. Okay. Here we conclude today's video and the next session we discussed in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much.